Something magic happens Every time you go You make the magic happen The magic of Orioles baseball How's everybody doing today? Autographs 2000 here. And in today's video, I have got four autographs through the mail, TTNs. And I've also got some in-person autographs to show you. Um, as always, we'll start with some TTNs. The first one is from Atlanta Metro. I've got Rod Gilbreth. He signed three of three in 10 days. He had a career batting average of 248, 14 home runs, 125 RBIs. He played seven years, appeared in 500 games. He played from 72 to 78. He played his entire career with the Atlanta Braves. Um, his best year was in 1977 when he hit eight home runs. Knocked in 43 and batted 243. Rod Gilbreth. And he did answer my question. I said, if you punch yourself in the face and it hurts, are you weak or strong? And he just replied, not real smart. Not real smart. It isn't. It's not very smart. All right, our second return is from Ariz Phoenix, Arizona. We have got Bo Allred. He signed three of three in 13 days. He had a career batting average of 230 with four home runs, 15 RBIs. He played three years. He appeared in 65 games. He played from 89 to 91, and he played his entire career in Cleveland. Bo Aldred. Aldred. Hopefully when the Hulkster decides to body slam Sergeant Slaughter back there, he doesn't body slam him on my cards. All right, our next one is from St. Petersburg, Florida. And we have got Dick Bosman. He signed three of three in nine days. He had a career record of 82 and 85 with a 3.67 ERA. He played 11 years. He appeared in 306 games. He played from 66 to 76. He played with Washington, Texas, Cleveland, and Oakland. Um, 1969 was his best year when he went 14 and five. Um, with a league best 2.19 ERA, and he also finished 26th in the MVP voting. And in 1970, he won 16 games with a 3.00 ERA, and his 1974 tops card he inscribed no hitter 71974. So that is pretty sweet right there, and he is the only pitcher to lose his no-hitter, or to lose his perfect game on his own throwing error. So he had a throwing error, which let a guy get on base in the fourth inning, and that was the only base runner the entire game. As Dick Bosman. All right, before we get to our last return, I'm going to show you some in-person autographs that I got. The first one is Jordan Sprinkle. He plays in the Chicago White Sox organization. He is the number two prospect for them. He signed five cards. Um, this year in 177 at-bats, he has no home runs. He has 14 RBIs, 14 stolen bases, and he's batting 209. Right now he's on the seven-day disabled or seven-day injured list. So he's not having a great season so far. 
All right, our next one is Glader Figueroa. He signed four. Um, he is the Texas Rangers number 18 prospect. And this year in 171 at-bats, he has a 216 batting average with six home runs, 25 RBIs, and two stolen bases. Next up, we have got Andres Mesa. He signed two. This year in 70 at-bats, he has a 171 batting average with one home run, eight RBIs, and four stolen bases. And then we've got from the Chicago White Sox organization playing for the Canapolis Cannonballers. We have got Brooks Baldwin. He signed four. He signed, uh, I did have some custom cards made of him. This year in 139 at bats, he is batting 230 with three home runs, 23 RBIs, and 10 stolen bases. And he is currently the Chicago White Sox number 30 overall prospect. Bruce Baldwin, I remember seeing him play last year when he played at the University of North Carolina Wilmington. Next up, we have got Pat Leland. He is the son of Jim Leland. He is a coach in he was a coach in the Orioles organization. Now he is the manager for the Low A or Low A Canapolis Cannonballers for the White Sox. Next up we have got JoJo Blackman. This year in 144 at bats. He has a 153 batting average. With three home runs, 14 RBIs, and eight stolen bases. That is also another custom that I had made. And then our last one, last but certainly not least, we have got Brock Porter. He is the Rangers number five prospect. This year in 10 games, he has a 0-0 zero zero record. He has thrown 31 innings. And he's got 42 strikeouts. And he's also got a 1.45 ERA. So he is he's a stud. And I don't um, foresee him staying in low A very much longer. All right, our next return is from Baltimore, Maryland. We have got Ron Hansen. He signed two of two in 10 days. He had a career batting average of 234 with 106 home runs, 501 RBIs. He played 15 years, appeared in 1,384 games. He played from 58 to 72. And he played with Baltimore, Chicago White Sox, Washington, the Yankees, and the Royals. He, is the, he was the 1960 American League Rookie of the Year. He was also an all-star in 1960 when he hit 22 home runs, knocked in 86, batted 255. And he also finished fifth in the MVP voting that year. Um, he also had a solid year in 1964 when he hit 20 home runs and knocked in, and, and batted 261. Um, in 1964, he finished 16th in the MVP voting. 1965, he finished 17th, and in 1967, he batted, he finished 14th in the MVP voting. Um, in 1968, he became the eighth player to record an, an unassisted triple play. And you know how baseball's crazy. But 40 years later, in 2008, he was in the stands when as Drupal Cabrera had an unassisted triple play. He was in the stands for that game. So, pretty crazy, 40 years later. Pretty crazy. But guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please smash that like button. 
If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And until next time, guys, Autographs 2000 is out.